him putting on Tim. Tell us about that uh, that gay fantasy you had. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> <laughs> You're right, I <laughs> no, let me let me finish the letter. There's <laughs> more. <laughs> Our leaders need not cower before obscenity. It may be resisted. I am quite certain that there is no shortage of attorneys in this city, myself included, who would who would count it as an honor and a privilege to take this battle as far as is necessary. For free? Gratis. Bullshit. <laughs> in today's moral climate, see, there's, there's, does morality have a there's, climate? Yeah. Like, there, there's an oxymoron. Is what is the moral climate? climate? Mor moral climate and lawyers working for free. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's 90 degrees today in, in morality climate. <laughs> What's the and, new point? And you don't know whether that's good or bad. <laughs> no. Do you want like a high morality point? Or it's a high orange temperature or a red yeah. or a low temperature. Yeah. As far as the climate, climate, moral climate goes, if we looked at the history of these white male people, which I am, but but I am white, I would be categorized. But you're evil. Right. So you're out of that. Right. I, 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 I've been categorized as white male since, since the very start, but I have, uh, uh, let's say, uh, forfeited my uh, white maleness by way of um, probably various things of uh, what I chose to study, how long I chose to study it. <laughs> um, uh, the woman I married, you, if you're white male, you don't marry outside of whiteness. Um, I forfeited on, on various levels. But anyway, there are people who have not forfeited their white maleness, such as James R. Anderson. And uh, he, uh, well, we don't know. You don't know he's white? We don't know that he has forfeited. You know, what he's forfeited and what he has. I mean, is, is a man yeah, once and forever a forfeit? Or might have okay. sometimes? Well, okay. Well, it's one of those true sure, electrical operations. What? Yeah, you know? yeah it, it could be. We don't know. <laughs> but the point is, if you look at the moral climate of uh, the white male world ever since about the last 400 years, as far as European, you know, culture. It's called global warming, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> global warming. That would be a good term for it, but I think they call it colonialism. <laughs> really, is what the, but this colonialism is <laughs> the domination of the world by European powers. The use of technology to dominate the world by these white male powers. And the justification that has gone on around this domination, which is white male culture, uh, this is what we're talking about here. That's what he's talking about when he's talking about moral climate. If you look, if you study the history through the whole, uh, if you look at the last 400 years and you look at these European powers and these white males who have had the power for the last 400 years, they are always talking about the gosh darn moral climate. Aren't they? Not all. Almost always. They're talking about... Uh, Sometimes they're talking about... I can't say chopping off uh, hands of people, or they're talking about... Go ahead. Well, David got my hand up to the most trying to contribute to your education. And they asked you know, one of the Bushes, either Bush Sr. or Jr., must have been Jr., what he and his father talk about when they're alone. And he said, uh, <laughs> so they don't always talk about... <laughs> Apparently, it's in Mark Christian Miller's book, uh, the bush with the <laughs> So he meant cats. Uh, What's that? He no. meant cats. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. No. But what did you think he meant something? No one ever says, like, they say pussy cat. Maybe that's the name of it. Yeah. Or a pet name for Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> His mom? Oh, yeah. Bad, how's that? Maybe, maybe they Pussy. just like endlessly discuss that Pussy Galore character from that game. Oh yeah, that game yeah. Fun movie. Yeah. 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 I mean, I can't imagine what else it would be. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
But, you know, you can't believe what you're reading books. You know, that's why it's not a literal clap trap. And again, I'd like to remind you that I'm not here to be party to that book. No fucking way. I, sorry. Language, man. He's a liberal. I mean, we have the one liberal on the panel. We have a, <laughs> we have a conservative. We have a Green Party member. I'm a conservative. And we have a libertarian. No, that's yeah, half a. Our nihilist is a. He's a neo nihilist. <laughs> Our nihilist is our state. Come on. Uh, is that Dilly? Uh, Dilly is more than a nihilist. <laughs> <laughs> Beyond nihilism. <laughs> he's Dilly. Uh, where's our. He's house? a Jim Beamium. <laughs> In today's moral climate, we could, of course, lose. I thought he said we like could probably lose. I said, of course, we could, of course, lose. But fear of losing is no excuse for rolling over and giving destructive elements the invited run of the city. <laughs> mixed metaphors. Yeah, mixed metaphors. Yeah, mixed metaphors. But. And sexual. Yeah, I was going to say, it's full of sexual innuendo. Rolling over. So, <laughs> roll over for me. You evil. Roll over now. Is there anything about dogs in there? No, uh, he says, uh... <laughs> no, I guess not anything about dogs. He's, he's uh, refreshed. He's refreshed. So good? All right, uh... Yeah, Onward good. and upward. <laughs> uh, apparently, James feels that we have the invited run of the city. Uh, you know, the thing that comes up to me, one of the issues here that I could open up, especially I know it's a pet peeve, Bane, uh, is the question of... Uh, the union. Tim, Tim can't speak for himself. <laughs> well, I'm trying to open it up to him to get him to speak. Uh, and bring it on. I'm surprised you're not at home running a nasty one right there. <laughs> uh, no, the, the, the whole thing underlying all this is um, is the question of, you know, they pretend like there is no, like, federal government, you know? Like, the, there are no federal rules or federal interpretations of things, you know, like, you know, like, the, the country itself has certain rules, and, and even if you, if you, let's say, let's say you could gather 100,000 lunatics together to follow whatever the hell you have to say, you know, it doesn't matter, you can't change the law. You know, you can't secede. You know, and this, that's what it's, all this seems to me is to be about, is secession. You know, you can't secede. You may not like, you live in small town USA, you're fortunate enough to like not have uh, very many Mexicans or whatever frightens you near you or whatever. But this does not give you the right to come up with some new laws for the land. You know, that's, that's what the whole question boils down to for me, is that there are American laws, American, and there's been this constant battle between the local and the federal for, for hundreds of years, and it's still going on. We're still dealing with it. In this public forum, we're hearing somebody say, hey, we don't need to have free speech in our town. <laughs> you know, our town can be better than, than having free speech. How, how many little things? Uh, how many could you, you think you could get together? I mean, how many people call in to uh, Cleo, the, 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 the psychic? 1-900-psychic. I mean, there, that would give you a good figure to work with. So you're suggesting that the people who follow Cleo are likely to follow you. Well, I think uh, also in that last paragraph, the idea that we need to be uh, invited in is provocative. Uh, you know, I've been um, driving all over Marshall, walking, shopping, uh, eating in restaurants, drinking in bars. Um, since I was very young, I've been here, you know, basically my entire life, and uh, never once received an invitation to do so, and uh, hadn't really thought about it. And I guess I could maybe overstepping the uh, the bounds of propriety and just assuming that I could go where I wanted to go and do what I wanted to do as though I were, you know, um, a full citizen of this country. Um, uh, apparently not. 
That's what I think about. I just think about trying to, like, what if you actually did have the run of the city? I mean, you're still in Marshall, right? So, <laughs> you'd probably have the run of the city and then you get bored with it after, like, two hours or something, you know? It's just, you know like, fuck, I've been everywhere, you know, there's nothing really to do anymore. I've been bowling. I've been bowling, I've had a couple drinks. Uh, well, he's a, he's a, he's an errand boy. Of I evil. did some swearing, I appeared on Educated Bowlers, I uh, watched some TV and uh, played some pool and played some darts. That's pretty much it. You could go swimming. Oh, go swimming, yeah. I hadn't thought about that. Yeah. You could go to the library, too, I guess. And you could see a movie. Uh, which well, is just like, they can, they can use this for our new, they can use this for the Marshall 6 when they show a movie now. We can do our little, we can do a new, maybe Welcome to Marshall kind of Instead thing. Instead of the Blair Witch Project, it can be the Marshall, let's see, we got to think of a real catchy name to get the, you know, the, the dupe, the dupers. The dupers. I have a question. I just like the flickers. When you wear a shirt like that, don't your nipples get? Part of the part of the culture. Do you put tape over the? Ooh, it's obscene. That reminds you of Tim Curry there. Thank God we're in a bowling. Well, we're not in a bowling. If you saw Pleasantville last night, you you saw what it was to be a true American. But I like that uh, no colors allowed. When, uh, <laughs> well, you should, you should see it. Yeah, you probably seen it. I don't know, like 10 minutes of it, it was okay. What <laughs> 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 Shane talked about those 10 minutes. Was it though? Yeah, uh, I loved it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> It was like in black and white, so I was kind of adjusting the TV to see which would look like, you know, I can do movie picture or news picture, sports program Sports picture. picture. Or there's manual where you can tailor the picture to you know, like manual. <laughs> your, your first question, which of these is the most evil? Yeah. Black and white. <laughs> Let's go to Tim here. What, what, uh, you know, uh, I think James R. Anderson has probably <laughs> rightly said that you are evil or a sponsor of evil. So tell us a, an instance in your life when you are a sponsor of evil or, or evil itself. Well, I don't think I can mention. Confess. I don't think I can mention any sponsors on this show. Cause that's like the one no, you can mention sponsors. I sponsor is evil because evil is not a money-making venture. So, if I'm a sponsor of evil, I'm like paying somebody else to do evil. Is that how it works? I'm sponsoring. Or you could be mentoring. So if I like say to some kid who's underage, like, go get me a beer or something, like, that's sponsoring evil or something. That's not the first thing that came to my mind. <laughs> <laughs> my definition of evil, it would be degenerate, you'd be sort of a degenerate, but I... Degenerate, We'd right. call you Father Tim, and then I think we have a whole different yeah, scenario. Yeah, that there. strikes me as, as kind of got a whiff of evil about it. All Saint those, Tim, all those know. priests who were molesting kids over the summer, you know? Yeah, I mean, so evil. And, and we should mention that we've asked all of those priests to be on the show. Yeah. And they've all declined. Right. So it's, and it's not okay. like we're not trying to get other evil it. voices on there. It's all alleged anyway. I mean, nothing can be proven. So, even though they... Yeah, anyone else Yeah, all the hands can be I'm just gonna have a. You have Coke or do you only have Pepsi? I'll have a Coke. Can I have like a glass of ice too? Yeah. And can we, and can we employ uh, some children to make some money? Yeah. Happy family. For a TV show? Or TV show. Educated Bowlers. A TV show. Marshall, you're going to be on there. What's your name? Can't talk like that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the bartender's name is Anonymous. <laughs> Miss Anonymous. I think we need more female voices on the show. I think we do. I, I heard that criticism among but the evil people. This person is a poor mayor also. Most people. Females who want to be on the show. Yeah. 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 Yeah.